Today we're talking about CHPP tools in Hattrick. Why you should use them, what they are, and recommendations for new teams. Which of these tools should you be using? CHPP tools are certified tools to help enhance your Hattrick manager experience. It will help you to gather data, compare stuff, and even get more information than what you would otherwise get from the system itself. Foxtrick, number one recommendation. It's an extension that you use in your browser, be it Firefox, Chrome, or whatever uh, browser that you'll be using. The cool thing about Foxtrick is that it enhances the information pages. Have a look at this player page. So the Foxtrick's on, you get color coding for different aspects of the player page. You can see that the passable text here is a little darker than the inadequate information in the player page. You also get add-ons like you can see here something called HTMS points which is basically an index of the potential of the player. Train him optimally, how good will he get? And you get a potential and you also get some indication of his ability. Another very useful thing is you get another tool incorporated here, which looks at the sub levels of, the, in this case, his playmaking, passable 6.77. And then you also get a warning here because you also have a relatively high winger skill. On top of that, you also see this added bar here. And if you look down here, you'll see that it's a lot wider because it, that's showing how much the player gains from his loyalty to the club. And this is a homegrown player. So that's 1.5 extra levels in all of his skills. Pretty handy. Another very cool thing about Foxtrick is that it leads to other extensions or, uh, or other applications even, and it also takes information from those. One of them being Hattrick Youth Club, which we will see as well as a separate tool in this video. Foxtrick also links to other tools, so it's another great way of discovering other tools for your Hattrick experience. Up here, you see the links for Hattrick Youth Club and Rate My Academy. With Hattrick Youth Club and Foxtrick both installed, you get additional information in the normal player page of your youth team. Have a look see here. There's a lot of extra stuff. For instance, current skill, information from the Hattrick Youth Club, current skill estimation feature, and, and other stuff. But if you look Closely here, you can see some statistics. And if you look at the player down here, that's my keeper. He's been training extra keeper skill and he's about to pop actually. That's the only information you get if you use Hattrick Youth Club and you synchronize your, your Hattrick data through the CHPP login and then let Foxtrick access that data as well in Hattrick. But that basically enhances your information. There's a lot of other pages of uh, Foxtrix here, and you could make an entire video just about that. The Hattrick Youth Club, the meta app for the youth team management. Hattrick Youth Club was developed in a time where the youth system or the academy system in Hattrick wasn't as streamlined as we see today. Every manager would have a hard time keeping up with the data provided from the coaches and the scouts in the youth system. So you would basically get a better representation of everything that you learned about your players in the youth club. In fact, a lot of the features developed in Hattrick Youth Club is actually part of the full Hattrick Youth Academy experience. That would be, for instance, the training calculator in Hattrick. But the nice thing you see here is that it actually keeps track of maximum skills and it will actually deduct whether a skill can be above a certain skill because you get information about the three best skills uh, from the scout and, and stuff like that. There's a lot of things in Hattrick Youth Club and we can't cover it all in this video but I'll show you the one I like the most. That's the training speed calculator. 
And based on all the data that Hattrick Youth Club has revealed for us, we can uh, make an estimation of the amount of games that it will take my keeper here to reach 7.0 in keeper skill. We have an estimate that says that he will at least be 6.6 .6 at this point. And he'll be playing as keeper, obviously. He'll be training keeper. And it will take two to three matches in order to pop and be solid goalkeeping. There's also another very nice tool that I haven't got a screenshot of here. And that's lineup optimization in order to gain information about the players. Because you have to play play your youth players in certain positions according to the training that you are using. And then the coach will reveal information about potential skills and the current skills about those. But as I said, a lot of useful tools in this meta tool and we can't cover them all. Moving on to the Hattrick Organizer. Hattrick Organizer is a squad tracking standalone app that you have to install on your PC. You'll then be able to gather a lot of data on your players and your squad. You'll be able to compare current data with older data in the database. In this particular example, I am comparing data from the 20th of January with the 18th of January, as you can see highlighted down here. And there you can see that we've in fact gained some training and some of them have even gained loyalty, lost a level in stamina, and various form and form increases and decreases. A lot of tools are actually included in Hattrick Organizer as well, and we could make an entire video about that, which we won't at this time. But the one I want to highlight is the skill tester. With the skill tester, we can basically add our fantasy or dream player into the squad and then we'll be able to see how he would affect our lineup and the ratings of the team. Check this out. We would add this player and we would be called Temp1. And if you look at my team here in the lineup, Sonsini is evaluated to a 3.93 score with his current abilities and the temporary player, the star player that I just made up, he would be 7.9. So if I were to swap him into my lineup, you would see that a lot of, especially midfield rating here, would be increased because he had like Titanic midfield or something like that. But that's the one I want to highlight in this video. The next one is a combination of tools on a particular website, a collection of web apps. With the Alloc Romania tools, you can calculate arena size, you can use the TS calculator, and there's also one to help you with internal coach recruitment and the cost of those, and see how much you actually save compared to the external trainer recruiting system. The main ones though, if you look at my main team, you can see that I've actually I've logged in with the CHPP and I've gotten the values from my, my squad. I have 783 fan members. And then at the moment, the desired or my fan mood is dancing in the streets level 10. And then I simply submit and calculate the recommended stadium size. And you can see that I would need to expand my stadium, which I am already doing as we speak. Another tool here is the Team Spirit Calculator. And this is pretty simple. You put in the coach leadership skill and then you just submit the first cup match. I'll be playing it cool, playing it cool in the league match. And you see that right after the match, you would have 4.5 and you would increase that by 1.1 third of a level making it content. Then it would drop a little until the league, ga league game and again playing it cool would have would mean that you would increase it by the, the actual value and then multiply it by 1.1 third of a level. 
The second cup match is very important, so we play match of the season, and we then half the team spirit. You could do this manually, but this is a way to keep track of the actual drop based on your coach's leadership skill, and you can just point it in here and then keep the exact value because you won't see the exact value on your team screen you will only see the rounded down value you could actually have composed 4.9 and it will only show composed and you could be thinking oh i have 4.1 it's a pretty nice tool for that html no we're not coding a website here it is the hattrick machine learning match prediction system you can use this in two ways. You can use it to review a match or a league. And I know it says prediction here, but it's not actually prediction because you're looking at played matches here. And like, if you look at my first league game with my team in San Marino, I wasn't supposed to win that game. If you look at it statistically, at least not a lot of outcomes would have me win that game because my expected goals would be 1.26 and the expected goals for the away team would be 2.1 and in 61 percent of the cases he should be winning that match looking at the league here i'm in the bottom because i've only played three games with my team in san marino at this point and you can see because i won that game against Dubka, my league evaluation is actually above the expected points because I got three points in that game and he lost that game that he was expected to win, meaning that he has less points than expected. A red color here in the league overview means that you've basically been unlucky. And a green one means that you are blessed by Lady Luck. But more importantly, and this is the prediction part. If you know the ratings in the coming match and you know you've been able to, to estimate what ratings your coming opponent will be bringing to the game, you can also get a prediction and see if you can optimize and increase your chances of winning. And uh, this match predictor, this machine learned match predictor has been trained on over 3 million games so far, so it has a lot of data and it is quite accurate, I should say. All right, so that's it for all of the main tools and the ones that I definitely recommend for new managers to check out as fast as possible after starting out. But I want to mention a few ones in the honorable mentions category. The first one, the unwritten manual, it's not actually a tool, it's just just, I shouldn't say just, because it is not a CHPP tool per se, but it is the best resource for anyone who has who has grasped the game to uh, like a basic level, and now you want to dig deeper in the game. The Unwritten Manual is a compiled manual of everything that you wouldn't necessarily learn in the actual manual of the game, and I cannot stress this enough. You understand the basics of the game you should be reading this from beginning to end no questions asked if you want to improve your hat trick knowledge this is where you start another one which is pretty cool but not necessarily super useful to you is the rate my academy extension for the youth games the most useful thing about this is that it actually scans your um, your, fo your earlier your former matches and it will reveal if a player has a certain spec that the coach hasn't reported. It also gives you a score for a player. And that's pretty cool. And then you could compare and see the highest rated talents in the game from all the players reporting to Raid My Academy. Raid My Academy, though, is only about the raw potential of a, of a youth player. It doesn't take into account whether you'll be able to actually finish training him by the age of 17, where you would usually promote the youth players. The last honorable mention is Oserin, and it's developed only for Android, and that's the reason why I wouldn't mention this earlier. But it's a lightweight 
nifty quick way to see all updates regarding your teams on the go on your Android phone. Unfortunately, it's only available for Android at this point, but it's very nice. It's lightweight. It's easy to use. There will be links to all of these things in the description. Did I miss any important tool in this video? If that's the case, let me know in the comments because I want to know. If you like this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. There'll be more hat-trick content to come. Thanks for watching and have a great day.